All right, this is going to be the uh, fourth video in the uh, self-esteem series. Again, uh, where I've been coming from, the uh, Six Pills of Self-Esteem, written by Arthur Nathaniel Brandon. He has a bunch of uh, different books on, uh, talks about the topic of self-esteem. I really like uh, this particular book. And I actually only been, been uh, using just a few paragraphs out of the book for each video. Uh, but I do think that it's beneficial. And, and again, as I mentioned, my reason, uh, for doing these videos and other videos that I do, um, I definitely want to want to, uh, make a contribution, uh, to the community. I also would like to be the, the what's next. You know, I made reference to, um, you know, some of the, the genre that I guess now is being called prison channels. Right, where they tell and talk about uh, stories and situations that occurred in prison. And I mentioned the fact that I also like to watch uh, some of those channels. I think they have uh, a lot of awesome content. Uh, uh, one particular individual I especially enjoy because uh, whenever he makes his videos and he talks about any kind of topic, whether he's talking about an individual or he's talking about uh, organizations and or policies, um, he always will present evidence, like very detailed evidence. And I find it uh, uh, informational as well as sometimes comical uh, because, well, as far as the comical is just because if uh, in the past where I've seen somebody try to, you know, go at him or troll his channel or kind of go at it with him or have certain things to say, um, he'll fire back, but he don't just say some things he will present documented and or video evidence to back up whatever he's saying and uh and i think he he uh kind of goes to uh i won't use the extreme i want to use the word extreme but i think he he goes to great measures to make sure that one his uh information is uh, that he's putting out there is is more than more likely than not going to be correct, and that um, that you don't just have to take his word for it. Um, and he also even provide uh, or generally provides sources uh, for the information. So you know, and I've, again, I find it entertaining, but I also believe that it's helpful uh, for young people to to begin to recognize that uh, the the criminal lifestyle prison environment and all these things are not glamorous. Um, some people, unfortunately, or some young people, unfortunately, uh, uh, strive to reach uh, prison or to become, uh, you know, a part of uh, certain organizations and stuff like that because they think it's, it's, it's such an honorable thing, right? And, uh, and, I, and I, I get it if a person uh, decides that they only want to live the criminal lifestyle or whatever, and them aspiring to become a part of certain organizations, I, I absolutely can understand that. But it shouldn't be a case where a young person thinks that that's their only opportunity for success and or uh, riches and or wealth, right? Because it's, it's, it's not success, right? It, uh, it actually ultimately leads to failure. And, and it's only because we have gotten our values twisted, right? We call right wrong and we call wrong right uh, is the reason why we uh, think a certain way. And I had mentioned in previous videos how sometimes even in, in our communities, we will uh, pick on and give a hard time to, let's say the young kids that uh, choose to educate themselves rather than get involved in aggressive and or criminal uh, activity, right? Maybe they are, you know, they are what we uh, sometimes call soft or square or something like that, right? When in reality, they are exactly as they should be and they are uh, striving for things that they should be striving for. You know, they're, they're uh, participating, let's say, in, in, in the sports in their, in their schools and they're working towards uh, you know, trying to get scholarships, you know, for, uh, colleges that they want to get into and, 
and, and you know, just a lot of good things that a lot of us have devalued. We don't, we don't put any value in those things. And, and I'm guilty as well because uh, growing up, I put no, no value, zero value in education. And it's, it's kind of shameful because, you know, our parents, our grandparents and stuff, they uh, fought uh, for us to have opportunities and we are throwing the opportunities away. And, and, and the whole while, while we're throwing the opportunities away, we find ways to point finger at other people uh, as, as being the source of our difficulties or our failures. And it's absolutely not true. So anyway, uh, that's, that's the reason or some of the reasons why um, I'm putting things together and I speak the way that I speak. And again, I don't, I never uh, uh, take away my personal responsibility in contributing to uh, the problems in the community. And even now, right, I don't, I no longer engage in the criminal activity. I uh, originally got out in 2010. I um, have not engaged in any, any, any criminal activity the whole time. Um, and, 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 you know, and don't plan to engage in any, but I still consider myself as being part of uh, the contributing factors as to why, uh, you know, some of the, the community is messed up because I, I did certain things, uh, you know, in, when I was living a criminal lifestyle and, and I kind of promote, you know, help to put, to promote these things. Right. So I'm responsible as well. And now, you know, and, and like I tell my clients, I'm like, well, we can't go back. We can never go back and undo the bad things that we've done, but we can, uh, uh, uh do something good to try to make up for it. And depending on what you've done, you can never co necessarily completely make up for what you've done, but you can, uh, 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 you can do your best, right? To create a situation to help another individual. And if you're able to, let's say, for example, uh, prevent, you know, like I've mentioned the prison channels, right? Like if they're able to prevent, let's say one individual, one child, from becoming, uh, getting involved in, let's say, gang activity, uh, or, or other criminal activities, you know, robbing and shooting and killing and stuff, right? Um, there's a ripple effect to that, right? So they not only help to potentially save that individual child's life, right? They will save other lives because if this child did be get involved in the criminal activity and gang activity and stuff like that, it is highly likely that they, you know, are going to be involved again in the criminal activity it is likely they would end up hurting someone else in the community and society and, and um, uh, potentially even killing them. Right. So especially from a, 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 a gang perspective, that kind of comes with the territory. Right. Uh, you're going to you're going to fight your enemies one way or the other. And. Uh, and sometimes people get killed. It just kind of goes along with it. Um, and I don't mean to speak uh, to 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 minimize it, but that's just the way it is, right? So if 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 they're able to, in in talking about the prison stories and stuff, discourage um, you know young people from engaging in these type of activities, they're they are contributing to the to to. Uh, the community, something good for the community. Right. And, and, and again, as I mentioned, I would like to be uh, the what's next. Right. I would like to talk about the way that we choose to think about our life and our opportunities and and, and talk about some of those things. And, and, and at some point in the future, even not only just talking about the fact that we can be successful, but also make videos on on some actual ideas of how we can be successful with, with explanations of how to do it. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, uh, but I'm still in the process again of setting a foundation, trying to build my brand and or build my channel and, uh, definitely would appreciate, uh, your support, uh, for that. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I get, I don't, uh, make a single dime off of any video, uh, that I have made. Um, I, I actually spend money. I don't actually make money. 
off of so a lot of the things that I'm that I'm doing right now. I believe at some point I will be able to generate income from it. But uh, right now it's more of spending money. And that's why I will speak the way that I speak. I don't uh, necessarily uh, worry about if I use profanity or not. Um, because again, I'm not monetized. I'm not getting uh, anything from it, but the, except the, the, uh, the, uh, pleasure of actually, uh, doing it, right? And hoping that, uh, somebody else will be able to appreciate it. Um, and if they don't appreciate it, I'm still gonna, uh, I'm still gonna do it because I actually, uh, enjoy doing it. Uh, anyway, again, back to the uh, uh, self-esteem. It says, for this reason, I have come to think of positive self-esteem as, in effect, the immune system of consciousness, providing resistance, strength, and, and a capacity for regeneration. Just as a healthy immune system does not guarantee that one will never become ill, but makes one less vulnerable to disease, uh, and better equipped to overcome it. So a healthy self-esteem does not guarantee that one will never suffer anxiety or depression in the face of life's difficulties, but it makes one less susceptible. So again, um, just because we have a higher or a healthy level of self-esteem, it doesn't mean that we won't have problems, you know, mentally, emotionally, or what have you. But it, it helps us so that we will uh, uh, most likely have less problems as far as that's concerned. And we will also uh, uh, we will also have uh, a better opportunity to bounce back. Right. To bounce back from whatever it is that we happen to be going to uh, going through uh, at any given time. Right. Because, again, we believe in that 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 uh, cliche. Uh, this too shall pass. So we believe that whatever difficulty that we're going through, it won't last forever, that we will uh, uh, not only uh, be able to uh, overcome it, right? We will also uh, hopefully be able to learn a lesson from it. And, and that's one of the things that um, I myself uh, started to uh, internalize for myself, that when I have a difficulty or a problem, I try to find uh, what can I learn from it, right? What lesson can I learn from it? And I'm not even going to pretend that um, that that's the first that's that's my first reaction that I you know I have a problem. Then all of a sudden I'm like, oh wow, what can I learn from this? Right? This is going to be a good learning opportunity. That's not how I think. My first reaction is is probably similar to everybody else. Like fuck, man, again, you know, feel like the universe is just working against me and stuff like that, right? Uh, victim mentality. That's what I consider it as, right? But again, that's me. That's the way I, I, I initially think about certain things sometimes. But then when I, when I uh, catch myself and I think about it and, and I'll correct myself and I try to figure out what lesson can I learn, right? Because even if you do something uh, or you try to uh, accomplish something or do something and you're not able to do it, right? You do something wrong, right? That's not a necessarily a bad thing because when you do something wrong, what you, what you're able to do, right. Uh, uh, assuming that you had the intention to get it right, but you just didn't have all the information. Right. So what you end up getting is, is, is more information, right? So now you get closer to actually getting it right. Every time you get it wrong, you get closer to getting it right. It's one less mistake you have to make in the future. Right. And so as it's saying about this self-esteem, uh, again, he, he referred to it as the immune system of consciousness, right? And uh, uh, pointing out the fact that as the immune system does not guarantee you'll never get sick, right? It makes you stronger to, uh, to avoid uh, certain diseases. And if you do happen to get sick, you end up uh, bouncing back faster than someone who already had a compromised immune system, right? So having healthy self-esteem, um, uh, feeling good about yourself, uh, uh, generally most of the time, um, you will, uh, we will, uh, be able to bounce back from life's difficulties faster than people will who have a low 
uh, self-esteem who um, who always just feel like a victim and feel like everything is working against them, right? Uh, Uh, then it says high self-esteem people can surely be knocked down by, by an excessive, by an excess of troubles, but they are quicker to pick themselves up again. And again, that's the point, right? Uh, we're, we're, we're better able to like bounce back and to get back on track. And I really like, uh, uh, this next sentence and, and, uh, Uh, and it kind of describes uh, self-esteem. It says self-esteem is more to it's, uh, excuse me, that self-esteem has more to deal with resilience than with imperviousness to suffering need to suffering needs be emphasized. So again, self-esteem has more to deal with resilience, you know, the ability to bounce back than with imperviousness. So the imperviousness that is talking about imperviousness means the inability to be affected by something, right? And so our self-esteem doesn't prevent us from being affected by problems of life, right? It doesn't stop the problem of life from affecting us and from sometimes kind of knocking us down. But it is to to help us with the resilience right so we're able to bounce back right we still end up being affected similar to the way that other people are affected but we come back from that difficulty you know again i like to use the example of people who have uh suffered from uh different illnesses such as uh you know heart, uh, terrible things such as uh cancer um, uh, uh, people that have been, uh, let's say paralyzed and, and, uh, you know, many different people have problems in life. Right. But some people just kind of give up and, and just say, well, I guess this is life for me from now on. And they just kind of get comfortable where they're at. Right. And then you have other people that say, no, uh, I, I accept the fact that I'm in this condition right now, right? I accept that this is my condition now, that this is my life now, but I, I, I don't agree with this and, and, and I don't agree with uh, uh, that it's going to be forever, that this is just the way it's going to be, right? I believe that I can overcome this and that I can recover. Right. And, and so they don't just believe that they don't just say that they believe that they begin to perform certain actions to, to, to do, uh, what they say they believe. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, and, 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 and we're taught, you know, no matter what you, uh, follow, right. Uh, you're, you're actually taught that your actions say more about what you believe than your words, right? I can say certain words and people may take me at my word, right? But if I say certain words that I believe certain things that I want to help in certain ways or whatever, but my actions are contrary to what I'm saying, then how true can my words actually be, right? Or how much can I actually believe what I say, right? So it, it, it obviously, um, we need to follow uh, our belief or the, our stated belief, or our stated values with actions, right? And it, and it would be difficult to, to, uh, convince anyone that you actually believe something that you're not, and, and you're not actually doing it, right? So again, uh, this self esteem, again, is huge. And, it, and, and again, it's, it's our self assessment, it's how, uh, our opinion and our feelings about ourself. Right. But at the same time, it's more than just a belief and feelings of how we feel about ourselves. It it is a motivator to actions, good or bad. Right. Low self-esteem. Um, we generally are, are motivated and, and uh, 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 feel comfortable uh, doing negative things. Right. Because we just feel that's the way we are. But positive and healthy self-esteem uh, motivate us to do the things that are going to help us 
to make the decisions that are going to have us being successful. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and, and it's a lot, I think, for a lot of us to, uh, to uh, think about sometimes, and especially uh, this idea of having a healthy self-esteem and, and believing that uh, the reason that we succeed or fail is directly associated with our, um, our decisions rather than uh, what someone else is, is doing for us or to us or saying about us or any of these other things, right? Um, uh, and, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One, um, it just feels better, uh, when I'm, and, and, and not actually feel better, but when, when, I, if I'm talking about how I feel about myself, let's say, um, it, it, it feels better if I'm able to explain or blame, uh, someone else for some negative, uh, situation or a, a horrible condition that I'm in than to say that it's my responsibility, that I'm the cause of my own problems, my own issues, right? Nobody wants to do that, right? It just feels better to say, oh, well, if that MF wouldn't have done whatever they did or whatever, um, I wouldn't be in this situation. But the problem is that that's bullshit, right? And so my message uh, in everything that I do, whether I'm talking about self-esteem, anger management, substance abuse, uh, uh, treatment, domestic violence, whatever, uh, my message is always that we are responsible for our own success or failures. And I'm not uh, saying that sometimes things don't just happen to us, right? That sometimes bad things, I'm not saying that sometimes bad things don't happen to good people because that would be false, right? Sometimes things are out of your control. Right. Sometimes things are out of your control. However, generally, uh, the problems that we have are directly associated with the decisions that we make. Right. Even if you're not the type that, let's say, engage in criminal activity. Right. Just not making decisions uh, that are healthy for your development. Again, it's, it's still a problem. It's still a hindrance uh, to you ever being successful. Right. Uh, uh, you know, teaching your, your, your children, right. Uh, basically that their, uh, potential for success and or wealth is, is limited or non-existent because, you know, you don't have money to send them to, 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 to school and you don't have, uh, the resources to give them the things that let's say rich folks can give their kids and, and that, they're pretty much screwed because they don't have these resources and teaching them these things um, is, in my opinion, would be a problem. And, and nowadays, all the things, you know, people are calling everything abuse nowadays. So um, if I was going to call something abuse, I, I would actually, uh, in my opinion, consider that to be abuse, right? If we're adding all these different categories of abuse, right? Because you are uh, creating a, a, a mental a mindset uh, in this child that they're uh, believing that it is not possible for them to be successful, that they have to settle for the bare minimum, that they have to settle for, let's say, a, a, a you know a minimum wage, or you know the bare the basic right, the bare minimum uh, of what society has to offer, and that's completely wrong, right? There are so many. Um, opportunities out here for us, whether educationally and uh, uh, business wise, to where we can absolutely choose to be successful, right? So, even when it comes to, let's say, education, right? In college, um, growing up as a kid, I felt that college was like for rich folks, right? And that I was never going to be able to go to college. My family couldn't afford college. And, and anyway, you know, the way I was acting at the time, I wasn't going to go to college anyway because public school, you know, pretty much I'm going for free and I wasn't doing anything there. So I wasn't doing anything uh, going to school for free. Why in the hell am I going to pay to go to school? That don't even make sense. Right. So I was making certain decisions uh, that was leading me towards my own failure. Right. That was leading me 
uh, towards incarceration, which ultimately uh, uh, my actions did result in incarceration, as I've mentioned in many previous uh, videos. Right. But those things, right, my conditions and they were there, they did not determine the outcome of my life. My decisions determined the outcome of my life. And so we have to get to the point where we can teach our uh, uh, children and the younger generation in spite of our conditions. <coughs> we can succeed, right? We can choose to be successful or we can choose to fail. But whichever way we go, it is a choice, right? It's not something that's done to us, right? It's a choice. And, and, and again, I, I uh, uh, challenge people to prove how I'm wrong, right? And I know some people will say, well, I tried to do this and it didn't work, right? Um, that's not proof, right? Because if you try something one time and it don't work, that don't mean that the only way that you failed, right? When you give up and you don't go back to the drawing board, restructure your plans and you try again, right? Most of us, when we're doing negative, let's say criminal activity, trying to rob somebody or you're trying to use drugs or something like that, right? You go in a, a let's say a, a store or something, or you're going to, let's say, rob another drug dealer or, or something like that. Or maybe you're a gangbanger and you're going uh, to, to, to kill or shoot or try to kill a certain enemy, right? And you go and you try to do that and you're not able to do it on the first try. Maybe something happens and you can't go in and do what you wanted to do or whatever. You don't just say, oh, well, I just give up. I'm never going to be able to, to do it. You, you figure out a way to get it done, right? You keep going until you actually get it done. And I know that's a very negative example, but it's a fact, right? It's what we do, right? When we're living that lifestyle and uh, we keep going until we succeed, right? So why? Would we, uh, let's say if we're starting a business or we're trying to start a new career or we're trying to educate ourselves or we're trying to uh, uh, help our uh, children have a good life or whatever, why would we just automatically give up as soon as things seem to get a little hard, right? Seem to get a little bit difficult, right? Why wouldn't we uh, put at least half the energy that we put into negativity, right? But we don't even put half the energy. I mean, we should put 100 percent of the energy, but, um, you know, at least half. If we put half the energy into uh, uh, positive thinking and positive actions that we put into negativity, we would be so successful. We would be unstoppable. Right. But we 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 choose not to do that. Right. And uh, and again, I do believe that it is that this this idea, this concept of self-esteem is uh, one of the biggest factors uh, that would explain why we don't, right? Because again, self-esteem uh, is basically self-efficacy and self-respect. Self-efficacy is confidence in our competence, right? Uh, uh, our confidence in our ability to succeed and to navigate life, right? And, and self-respect, believing that we are uh, basically good people who deserve um, to be respected, who deserve uh, to have good things in life and who deserve um, to be uh, 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 content and happy, right? But some of us um, and some of you, you may have even noticed for yourself where when things are going good for you, you get nervous and you feel uncomfortable. You get anxious because you know in your mind, you know that it, it, it's not going to last. And that something bad is going to happen. And eventually something bad does happen and it doesn't last. But the problem is that it, it doesn't have to be that way, right? It, it is, it's not that you were necessarily going to fail, but we began to think according to a negative uh, mindset. And we're constantly looking for that bad thing that's going to happen. And it ends up happening because we're looking for it. If you go out looking for something bad, you will find it, right? You will find what you're looking for. Just like when you go out looking for drugs or you go out looking for a fight or whatever, right? You end up finding what you're looking for. And so most of us, we end up going looking for something negative, 
right in the in the uh, in the last video, um, we uh, I uh, read a little bit where it talked about that we tend to be more motivated by negative, right? The problems that are happening, things, uh, bad things happening, or or being motivated from getting away from the let's say the consequences, then we're motivated uh, by the positive things that we can achieve. So we 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 end up taking actions to avoid. Um, something bad from happening. And, and, and when we're doing that, what we're actually doing is we're looking at that thing, right? We're looking, right? As you're trying, when, like it, when you're trying to avoid an accident, what do you do? You're constantly, you're, you're staring at that thing that could go wrong, right? And a lot of times you, you end up running right into that thing, right? Uh, a lot of people, uh, uh, they'll talk about if you're riding a motorcycle, right? And, 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 uh, so the best teachers that you know teach people about riding a motorcycle, they say always look in the direction that you're that you want to go, right? And obviously, I mean that seems self-explanatory. But what we uh, tend to do, especially if there's a problem, let's say there's a a, a rock in the road or uh, a, a a pothole or uh, maybe you're headed towards a a, a cliff or a, a, a say a mountain or something like that, right? Something that you're going to run into that's obviously going to be a problem. You're looking at that thing that you want to avoid and you end up going right into that thing, right? Rather than looking in the direction uh, that you want to go, which is away from that thing, right? So we want to look away from the problems, right? We don't forget them, right? We don't forget that we had the problems because we, in that case, we may repeat them. But we don't continue to focus on the problem. We want to focus on the solution. We want to focus on what's good, right? And so we look in the direction we want to go. And that's why I mentioned again in the last video, having uh, uh, the consequences behind us, right? The thing that we're getting away from, but also having something in front of us that we want to move towards. And we want to keep our eye, like again, the video series uh, talking about like the civil rights movement. They had a video series, I think it was a PBS series, called eyes on the prize, right? And that's what we want to do. We want to keep the eyes on the prize, right? We want to keep the eyes on the things that we actually want out of life and not continue to focus on the things that we don't want out of life because whatever we focus on, that's what we're going to get, right? Um, you got a lot of the different books uh, that come out that people talk about. Uh, what's the one book, uh, Think and Grow Rich? And uh, I can't think of all the, the books off the top of my head right now, but you know, it, they give the idea of, uh, you know, having a mindset or thinking about the things that you want. And one of the, the uh, sayings or cliches that become that became popular. And again, I don't remember uh, exactly who said it, but you'll probably remember because you probably listen to uh, some of the motivational in, uh, videos and different things like that. Uh, uh, but the, the statement that said uh, you think, uh, excuse me, you become what you think about all day long. Right. You become what you think about all day long. Right. And again, I don't remember who stated it, but a lot of people have repeated it and quoted it. So I'm sure you've heard it. Uh, and it, it may have been Earl Nightingale. I believe I'm for whatever reason that name's coming up in my head. But uh, but one of the reasons you're going to become what you think about all day long, again, is because you are going to continue to move in that direction, right? You're thinking about something, uh, whatever it is, good or bad, right? And so that is the thing that begins to saturate your um, your thought process, right? So um, if we are, uh, whatever it is that we're doing, right, uh, and thinking about uh, the majority of the time, it will affect our behavior, it will affect what we do. Right. And our behavior will determine the outcome of our life. Right. So, again, if I'm always thinking about uh, the negative, right, I'm going to end up finding the negative. For one reason is if I'm always thinking about the negative, then it's more likely um, that I'm going to be angry more often. Right. Uh, because none of us like anybody doing anything to us and or against us or whatever. Right. And uh, when we're always uh, thinking about what somebody has done to us or whatever. Um, uh, we generally, or I generally, uh, uh, start thinking, of, uh, get ideas or visions 
or fantasies about getting revenge, right? Uh, avenging, you know, myself against this person. And that's not healthy, right? It's, it's, it's just not healthy. So we have to, uh, uh, or what I try to do is reframe what's going on uh, with that situation and, and uh, uh, try to look at it from, again, from the perspective of what can I learn from this interaction with this person or from this problem and, and how can I change it, right? How can I change it to something better? And, and, and I'm usually able to do that, right? Uh, 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 another saying that, that I heard recently, and it's only, I only heard it once, and again, again, don't remember who it was, but it made an impression on me. Um, it, it, was, it says that um, if you're able to, uh, if you're able uh, to resolve your problem, uh, then it was, it, it wasn't a problem, right? Uh, if, uh, what did it say? It says, if you're able to resolve your problem, then it wasn't a problem. It was, uh, uh, an, an obstacle. I think it was, I can't remember exactly how it said. Uh, if you're, if you're able to resolve it, it, it wasn't a problem. And then, um, if you're not able to resolve your problem, then it still wasn't a problem. It's just life, right? Because there are certain things that we can't change, that we can't resolve, that we can't uh, do anything about, right? No matter how hard we try. And then there are other things that we can change. And most things that would affect us negatively, we can change. Some of them may feel like, and we may think that we can't, we can't change them, but we can. It's going to take a lot of work, but we can, we can do it, right? And uh, so again, that's what this self-esteem, that's this, this idea, this self-esteem, that's what it brings to the table, right? It, it, it gives us or helps us to have the confidence that we need to realize that success and failure are choices, right? Success and failures are choices, and we choose to succeed or we choose to fail. And, and again, I understand it's easier said than done, right? And, and uh, that uh, you can say, well, I choose to, to succeed while well, I'm not successful, right? And, and it just doesn't happen like that without effort, right? Um, I got a lot of things in the basket for myself right now. Uh, uh, and if I compare everything I'm doing with the amount of success that I'm having. And, and in this sense, when I'm saying success, I'm, uh, let's say if, if I'm, if I compare the, the, the things that I'm doing with the, uh, money that I'm receiving, it really doesn't make sense, right? It, it doesn't make sense in a, in a sense that, um, I am currently right now at this time that I, at the time that I'm making this video, uh, this is what October, uh, was it 21st, 2003? Um, at the time of this video, uh, and all the videos up until this point, right? This is uh, video number four, uh, for the self esteem series. And I made all of them within the same sitting, but I just broke them up, uh, cause so they wouldn't be so long. Uh, I am literally spending more money on, uh, what I'm trying to do and trying to achieve and trying to accomplish than I'm making. Uh, right now, I'm really not making too much of anything at the moment, um, right? And so I could look at that and say, "Well, <laughs> what's the point, right? What's the point? I I would do better just go and 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 get a second job, right? At least I's guaranteed that I'm going to have the income from working that second job, and that's true. I would, but again, I think uh, I would be succumbing to or giving into a poor mentality, a poor man's mindset, right? Because I believe that it takes time uh, to accomplish our goals. And I also have to say, even though I have a lot of things going on that I do believe eventually will, uh, that I will succeed at, um, I have not put complete effort into those things, right? I screw off time just like everybody else, right? And I don't give all of my, 
let's say, free time to doing uh, the things that would lead to my success, right? And so I have not prioritized uh, uh, success and wealth over, let's say, fun and entertainment, right? And that's one of the reasons, you know, since I've, since I've been out of prison, I've had seven or eight different motorcycles. I ain't going to count them up right now, but seven or eight different motorcycles. Uh, at the moment I have none because I had to file a lemon law, the last one. Right. And when I had to file that lemon law that, uh, you know, put me in a, a lot of debt because I was still had to continue paying for the, the that bike, which was like $40,000. So I had to continue making payments on that. And I had to buy another car. Uh, so I actually have something to drive. Uh, and so I was paying for both of those as well as continuing to pay the rent and have all the other bills that I had. I also, uh, uh, lost a certain contract that I had uh, going on at that time due to a certain office being moved, right. Which took away uh, about maybe a quarter of my income. So I have an additional, uh, payment from a car, uh, and while also paying for another vehicle that I didn't even have, that I had to, con but I had to continue paying for it. Um, lost some of the income that I had at the time that I was paying for it, the single uh, 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 vehicle, right? And uh, so anyway, it created a situation where um, I developed a significant amount of, of debt, right? And I'm not sitting here complaining. I'm just making a point. Right. So for all intents and purposes, you know, I could, you know, cry to cry foul and play the victim or what have you. And, uh, you know, and even with some of them, like the contract thing, it wasn't nothing about that. As far as losing that situation had nothing to do uh, with my decisions. Like I say, most of everything, you know, bad things happen is our decision. Nothing to do was based on my decision. But it, again, it was one of those things of life. Right. It happens. Uh, but again, I, it's not the end of the story. It's not the end, right? It, it was just a, a time, an obstacle, right? And, and I believe that the things that I'm doing will lead towards success. And my uh, self-worth, my self-esteem, my self-confidence tell me that I'm going to be uh, uh, successful, right? How soon or how slow or excuse me, how fast or how slow it's going to go, I can't really say. But I can say that it will, that the speed will um, be associated with the effort that I put into it, right? And so I need, I have to prioritize uh, success over other things, right? Just as you have to prioritize success over other things. Uh, anyway, this was the fourth uh, video uh, on the self-esteem series. Uh, again, I'm not sure how many videos I'll make on this series, but um, uh, I'll make at least, at least a few more. Right. Um, but hopefully you able to get something from the video. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channels. If you haven't already done so, uh, share the videos, um, uh, promote the channel, uh, try to get, uh, people to subscribe. I, I definitely, uh, need the, uh, the, uh, subscribers and, uh, and let's try to, uh, push a, a, a positive message, right? Let's try to push a, a, a winner message rather than a loser's message, right? Let's try to come to an understanding that we can choose to be successful or we can choose to be failures, but whichever way we go, it's our choice, right? Um, again, subscribe to the channel, like the video.